We've been working with local partners to try and highlight the importance to people about keeping their communal areas free from clutter and objects and also the importance of shutting fire doors. So we walked into the room, we were all suited up and then we had to make our way back out through the flat. That room is approximately four metres by four metres max and then we have a short corridor which is about nine metres tops. You should be able to walk that in probably 15 to 20 seconds even if you're not fully ambient. It, it, it was just so quick. You're desperately trying to stay focused on something and think, I'm, you know, I'm going to be able to keep, I'm going to see something and literally within 30 seconds I couldn't see anything. Anything. Silly really because I go in those flats all the time with my work but and I do know them yet once all the smoke was up I, I had no idea where I was. This individual at the moment has taken over a minute to, to navigate that small room. Because I'd got disorientated I couldn't then find where I was. In a minute with that much smoke because it's going to be thick black toxic smoke they're going to be overcome by, by the fumes of cells but carbon monoxide and like to collapse. I can't even begin to imagine how I would feel if it was for real. It, it was it was terrifying. The lady was helping me sort of a little bit towards the end because I wasn't going anywhere um, and then I sort of made my way around eventually and made my way out. Realistically before they even got, come into the corridor the means of escape they would have been overcome by fumes now. For want of a better word they would probably not have made it in a real life situation. The means of escape, i.e. the corridor, yeah, is not a living area. It is what it is, it's a means of escape. It needs to be sterile and that means that we don't have any trip hazards in it, homeliness or your life basically.